Welcome to Vans Direct and today I'm going to show you around the new Discovery Commercial. So at the front of the vehicle we've got the new LED daytime running lights and headlights. We've got the Discovery badging. We've also got a new front grille. We've got the front of our 3D camera system and the 360 park distance control. Moving down to the wheels and tyres, we have a gloss black 21 inch alloy with a Pirelli Scorpion Zero all season tyre. So from the wheels, we've got a discovery graphic on the side here. We've got a camera from the 3D camera system underneath here, LED indicators and the blind spot monitoring system on here as well. When we open the passenger doors, we have a 74 litre underfloor storage. So at the rear of the vehicle, we have the wraparound tail lights, we have the Discovery badging, we have the rear of the 3D camera system, we have the 360 park distance control. So you can open the rear tailgate with the key fob. You still retain the traditional split tailgate. The vehicle will hold 2,024 litres and has a payload of 784 kilos. It'll also fit a standard Euro pallet into the back. We also have our air suspension switches and tow bar switches in the back here. So here we have our 12 volt socket, tailgate switch, rear air suspension switches, trailer bulb check, and the deployable tow bar. A standard feature for the Discovery commercial is a robust rubber mat. You can see the Discovery has had a complete facelift on the interior. We've now got a 12.3 inch driver display in front of me here. We've got a redesigned steering wheel with the controls. Moving along, we've now got 11.4 inch infotainment display and a new centre console. Behind here, we have storage. We also have a new toggle gear selector and a very minimal centre console here. So if I open this part of the centre console, we have two cup holders. Below this is an extra storage bin. In there, it is lit with an LED light and also has charging ports. Moving over to this part of the centre console, we have our terrain response dial and we also have the hill descent control. So before driving off road, we need to assure the vehicle is set ready for our uh, terrain that we're going to be driving ahead. So a few things we can change is we can change the suspension height with the electronic air suspension to off road height. And from off road height, we can gain an extra 75 millimeters above the normal drive height. From that, we're now going to change the terrain response system to grass, gravel and snow. Grass, gravel and snow is a, a program designed to deal with slippery surfaces such as gravel tracks, icy roads, snowy roads, torrential rain on the motorway, frosty mornings, anything where the surface is firm with a loose or slippery surface on top. Along with grass, gravel and snow, we've got a few hills to descend, so I'm going to use Land Rover's famous hill descent control. It's been in the vehicles for around about 23 years now, uh, and it was originally brought out on the Freelander 1. It's a brilliant system that uses intelligent braking to descend the hill. I'm now going to go into drive. I'm going to use the cruise control settings plus and minus to adjust the target speed of hill descent control to its lowest target speed of around about four miles an hour. And finally, to maximize my visibility, we mentioned the 3D camera system, which I'm going to switch to off-road cameras. All I'm simply going to do now is take my feet off the pedals and let the hill descent control take over. It applies braking to individual wheels. If that wheel starts to slip, it will release that brake and apply braking forces to another wheel. This system allows you to maintain directional control while descending a hill. As you can see, the Discovery negotiates the hill with no bother at all. It's a loose gravel surface, so it can be quite slippery underfoot. The terrain response system that I'm going to use now will aid while traveling along the ground and up it. 
It gives me a gradual delivery of power to reduce the chance of wheel spin. If wheel spin is detected, grass, gravel and snow will introduce the traction control systems quickly. It favours the highest, gear, highest practical gear to reduce the torque at the wheels, to again reduce the chance of wheel spin. If a slide is detected, the stability control systems are much quicker to respond. As we're driving along this rough farm track, the new Discovery is fitted with Adaptive Dynamics as standard. Adaptive Dynamics reads the ground and adjusts the damper settings of the suspension, giving us the best quality ride. As the terrain gets worse, I want to maximise the vehicle control. I do this by using the terrain response system. I'm now changing to the Mud and Ruts program, which now favours and maximises the torque at the wheels. The system that is designed to work on uneven ground and ground requiring large suspension movement. It favours the lower gears to maximise the torque at the wheels. The traction control system is now a little bit more aggressive and also it will raise the vehicle to off-road height to maximise the clearance whilst driving off-road. As you can see again, the off-road cameras are invaluable on terrain such as this, as there's little room for error. Through this next section of track, I've kept the vehicle in the Mud and Ruts program, as there's high levels of wheel articulation. Land Rover Discovery offers half a metre or 500 millimetres of wheel articulation. This will allow the vehicle to remain having full grip on the ground to maintain traction through the worst of surfaces. I've now selected the 4x4 information display. Not only does it give me wheel and axle information, it will also show me the angle of what we're working at. I'm about to demonstrate a severe side angle. A vehicle with a high ground clearance, it's amazing it stays so composed at such a steep angle. Even though we're on such a steep side angle, when properly secured, the load hasn't moved and the vehicle is still stable and you can negotiate the roughest of terrains. Thanks very much for watching. If you'd like any more information on the Land Rover Discovery commercial, please log on to vansdirect.co.uk.